Hope you're all doing really well. I just wanted to make a quick introduction video to the dashboard. I thought the best format for this would be to do, do the screen capture type video that we did the last time around um, and to show you what it looks like in a real customer account. Um, so you'll notice there's a new button on the left hand side here which is explore your stats. If the customer clicks into this they'll be presented with a date filter. So in this filter we've left it completely flexible. They can select uh, a day, a week, a month, um, literally whatever suits them and the reporting structure that they have in place today. So if I pick a start date and an end date, this goes back to December 2015. So you've got almost a year and a half's worth of data feeding into this report. So select the dates and close. And the stats update automatically. So as you change these dates the same thing will happen, um, the screen will clear and then the new report will be generated. So on the left here you have the number of tests in total, the number of passes and the number of fails and then underneath that is expressed as a percentage pass rate for that period. So the graph on the right is interactive, um, you can see the categories underneath uh, with the values and then if you hover over you can see the category name and the percentage that that represents. Um, so if you click into fails you'll see more categories appear, again these are all labelled very clearly at the bottom of the screen here. So the three categories that this breaks down into are concerns relating to inhibitor, concerns relating to the clean or concerns relating to both. So this particular account that we're in here, cleaning seems to be by and large pretty well done. Uh, they don't have any concerns relating to clean, so it doesn't show up in their graph for this time period. So if we click into this again, you'll see another breakdown. So all of these categories have got a subcategory. And again, it's all listed and explained underneath. So the subcategories are all labeled quite clearly. So you can see exactly what you're looking at. So for this here, you can see that you've got 40% of these packs needed more inhibitor and then 60% just needed more thorough circulation. So they've got enough inhibitor, but it hadn't been circulated as far as we could see. And when you want to go back, you simply click the buttons at the top. You can go back up one level all the way back to the top. So this is pretty simple to start us off. It really helps to give kind of a visual representation of those recurring issues an opportunity for improvement, more importantly. Um, so contract managers can look at this, they can identify patterns in behaviour, refine the training for their engineers, um, compare against different time periods to really track the performance um, that they're seeing. The upshot of all that obviously is that they can reduce the costs that are incurred by repeat visits and the customer dissatisfaction um, from tenants. Um, so satisfaction with the product overall should go up with our customers and with their customers in turn as we're able to start offering them better and better insights uh, through this kind of dashboard. So this is very simple to get us out the starting blocks. Um, there is more to come, but I'm going to update you separately on that. I hope this is all quite clear, uh, but if you do have any questions, you know where I live. Please do feel free to get in touch. Thanks, guys. Bye.